good afternoon everyone good afternoon sir good, good afternoon, afternoon sir good afternoon sir so our next topic is email writing which is part of the writing section of the uh, fourth module and this is a sure question for the exam and uh, i'll just show you that part of the question paper which has this question okay, this is the question paper uh, it has that question, question number 6 from letter 6 you can see You purchased a mobile phone from A B C shop. You are not happy with the battery life of the phone. So you send an email to the service center, telling them about the exact nature of complaint. So this is the question. It is a five marks question. So this, these kinds of questions are what we can expect uh, when we appear for the exam. so uh, i think most of you might be familiar with uh, uh, using emails but when you write for the exam you may have to write all these things that is normally when you send an email you don't have to write the from address but when you write for the exam this has to be written in this format uh, that is uh, you have to write from then to then uh, copy to and subject line etc all these things have to be uh, included when you write an email okay, for example i'll show you an email so this is a kind of email that you can so, so there will be the date you have to write the date so you can draw a box like this you can draw a box when you write the answer for the question this is the way you have to answer you can draw a box like this and then uh, on the first uh, uh, row you can write date then from then to then subject and then in the message box you can write the email so this is the format in which you can write the answer it is a five marks question so each of these elements will have marks so these are all called fields so when you learn about programming you will learn these terms it is called a field so we call it the date field then the from field then the to field then the subject field and the message box okay so what are the different things which we have to write first we have to write the date field then we have the from field and then we have the to field then we have the subject subject field and finally we have the message box okay and what does the message box contain message box contains salutation so i will mark it as 5a 5a will be salutation okay. and 5b will be uh, introduction of the email then 5c will be body of the email then uh, 5d will be conclusion of the email and 5e will be the complimentary box
Okay, so this is how we write an email. All these things we should be in, in, indicated in it. So first, how do we begin? We have these fields which begin an email. That is, the first we have the uh, date field. the first date field. The date field is there. Then we have the from field. Then the to field. Then the subject field. And then the message box. And what does the message box contain? The message box contains all these things. That is salutation. Okay. Then the introduction. Then the body of the email. Then the conclusion and the complementary clause. So uh, there are some errors here. If you uh, look at these uh, things, there are some errors in this email that I have projected on screen. Can you find out the errors which are there on this? Little errors can do the email. projected email, the errors and the camera. Can you find out what are the errors? I will try to zoom it in. Some errors are there. If first still a field, little errors can do the Are there errors? Is this the way we write the date? It is the format of the date. How? Exactly. Yes, uh, Surya. Thank you, Srishma. Yes, it should be the day, month, and year. So. It should be uh, the reverse. So it's just written like this 21 April or 21st April 2020. So that is the correct form. Okay, so that is the first correction. Then, uh, we, is this an email ID? Is it an email ID or no? One second, oh my God. Yes. Very good. Thank you for those responses. It is no. The answer is no. It is it is not the way email ID is written. Strangely, many students have also written email IDs like this. Email ID Moodle email ID www. What is www? That is the way a website begins. Okay, that is the address of a website. Exactly, Surya. Yes, direction. So that is the way a website begins. So that is not the format of an email. So uh, what is the first thing that comes in an email? That is called uh, a username. That is what comes in an email. For example, if you modify this. If I want to modify this uh, email ID, I have to write abc at. Okay, so uh, that is the format of yes user ID uh, at yes domain name. Okay, so the, as as Surya at gmail dot com or example or any any domain name. So. To understand better, I will write it like this user ID at domain name dot type of domain. Okay. So uh, it can be uh, uh, gmail.com or uh, if it is our college, GWPC ESR dot AC dot okay depending upon the kind of organization so if it is a commercial site it will be dot com if it is an organization it will be uh, dot org if it is an educational institution that is dot ac dot ac or an academic dot ac dot and this is called the type of domain okay so we have a user id then we have the domain name and we have the type of domain. If 
അപ്പം ഇത്രയും കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഒരു ഇമെയിൽ ഐ ഡിയിൽ ഉണ്ടാവുക സോ ഇഫ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് മൈ ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ ഇമെയിൽ പേജ് ഓൺ ദ ടോപ്പ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ദിസ് ദിസ് ക്യാൻ ബി സി ദിസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി യുസർ നെയിം ദ അറ്റ് സിമ്പിൾ ഇസ് ഹിയർ യു ഹാവ് ദി അറ്റ് സിമ്പിൾ ദെൻ ദ ഡൊമൈൻ നെയിം ആൻഡ് ദ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡൊമൈൻ okay so all these things are there in the domain so so that is there in this uh, in this email that is shown here that you don't begin with www which is actually an indication of the website so it should it should be changed we have to change it into uh, the username at the rate of domain name and then type of domain so we will rewrite it as i can i can rewrite it how will i rewrite it i will rewrite it like this abc at example dot com so now it is a proper proper plan email so now i have changed it i have changed that format into a proper format similarly such a change should be done in the two field also two field alum adu pole same similar mistake has been made similar mistake is made in the two field also what is the two we will have like can i modify it idu pole adana tirichu modify edeyadan mattu can you write it can you modify it and write it again everybody any yes again we have to what should we do we should remove that www so i can write def at uh, uh, example uh, yes dot com or dot org or dot ac dot in whatever there should be yes very good def at example dot com so that is a proper format for the email so that is the next error so this is a, a, the formatting error that we see in these fields that is from field and to field next we have the subject field let us look at the subject field what is the uh, there is a problem with the spelling okay there is a problem with the spelling so what is the problem with the spelling it is to be written like this it is machinery so we have a uh, format error here we have a spelling errors yes machinery is the correct use very good so, so so all these errors have to be corrected when you write an email the it is not just the format that we have to be careful about we have to uh, be careful about the uh, errors and uh, so what are the corrections that we have to do so okay then the next one is the salutation let us look at that salutation here you can see the salutation is there so now we have uh, we come to the possibility of error this possibility of error is in punctuation okay that is the possibility of error here the punctuation there is a punctuation error that we can find in this anyone can mention what is that punctuation error
anybody can type it in the chat box what should be there after when you write a salutation should there be any punctuation after that do you usually put any punctuation mr binoy kaini telling you a punctuation mark veno yes nandana yes uh, sia there should be a yes sudhya yeah, that's right there should be a comma very good yes there should be a comma after binoy very good that is right so there should be a comma after binoy so that is the next error that we see here there should be a comma after that then uh, say there are errors in the same error is repeated the missionary is the error in spelling is there okay the next error is here so when i use of so i can write uh, like this 13 april 20 uh, 21 okay but when i write of when i use of i have to write 13th of april so when of is used the format is slightly changed so there is a change in the format when we use of so that is the next error that we find here Thirteenth of April, so there should be a thirteenth. Okay, then let's look at the next few errors. There is some more. So in this line, it is correct. This is correct. Twenty seventh April is correct. There is no mistake in that. There is it is correct. Is there any mistake in this? Is there any mistake in this? So we have some mistake with this spelling. Okay, before that, before that, before thanks. What I have highlighted there, highlighted the work. wonderful thank you for those responses it is cancellation there should be two ls okay okay the next very good cancellation the next error is with regard to thanks how you write thanks see you can i uh, when you you can just write thanks there is now no problem with thanks but there should be a full stop so either you write thank you and write a full stop after the thanks there should be a full stop punctuation is very important the next error is also related to punctuation there are two errors with this this is a complementary clause a complementary clause yes shrishma that is right it does not require it does not require an apostrophe apostrophe avashyamilla adana inde first error yes yes nandana that is right after that there should be a comma also so yours ennalla inde edayil apostrophe venda adu pole sincerely kaiyittu or comma venum So there are two punctuation errors. One is an unnecessary apostrophe is added. The second error is that a necessary comma is not included. So both are errors. One is uh, there is an uh, there is an unnecessary apostrophe. 
the second error is that the unnecessary comma has been avoided okay is there any problem with this is there anything in the question That is when I write manager Harshan. Is there any problem with the order? I have to actually reverse reverse that order. That is the name should come first. Very good, Sri Lakshmi P. And that is right. The name should come first, and after that should come the designation. The name, then designation. Designation is not the same. When we write our letters also, we write our name, isn't it? When we write our name, Sita of S4DC or S4CT or S4EL, the designation comes after the name. The designation is not written before the name. So that is the next error that we have to correct here. Yeah? So here the error is that the designation has been written before the name. So that is the next error to be corrected so now we have completed that now let us look at another another email let us try to correct another email here the errors are highlighted actually this is a this is an email written by a student towards the technical examinations department regarding the complaint that she has not received the call ticket. So here there are some errors. Uh, these errors are language errors or grammatical errors. They are called language errors or grammatical errors. These errors are already highlighted. We just need to give proper correction. So, we'll let, so the first one, first error is I had register. What is the problem with the register? Very nice, Nandana. Nandana, so many people. Yes. It is uh, had registered. Yes. Because it is a, the tense is past perfect. Okay, it is past perfect tense. It should be had registered. So be, it, beginning with had, then it should be the tense has to be changed into the past form. Test registered. I had registered for first semester. For first. There should be one word in between for and first. For no must not in the given manner. For first. Very good. For the first. The should be added. The should be added. For the first semester diploma examinations to help in October 2015. To help in October 2015. To help. Great. Yes. So the in between two and held, there should be a B. Yes. To be held in October 2015. However, I dash not yet received. I 
However, I did should be avoided because yes, I have not. So it is present perfect tense. Okay, present perfect. I have not yet received. I have not yet received. Yes, my hall ticket. My name dash not appear. Do not appear should be transformed because my name is singular. Singular should have a s sound. My name is singular. So singular ver uh, verb should have a s sound. So my name does not appear in the list of candidates. Very good. Does not appear. I have remitted the fees at time. At time. In time. In time. There is another word which we can use. On time also. The better one is in time. I have remitted the fees in time for all the papers on our polytechnic office on our polytechnic office in our polytechnic office or at our polytechnic office at is better at our polytechnic office kindly looked into the matter and take necessary steps to issue me the hall ticket at the earliest kindly looked into the matter and take necessary steps to issue me the hall ticket there is no need yes very good there is no need to add a past tense just uh, you are asking them to look into the matter kindly look into the matter and take necessary steps to issue in the whole thing so when you write an email we have to be careful about all these things first one is format which we discussed then we have to be careful about the spelling then uh, punctuation okay. and the fourth thing is language and grammar. So these are the four aspects of uh, writing an email. Format le thanna korai karing lenda which we already discussed. So the four things in uh, major things is format, uh, spelling, punctuation, and language and grammar. And with relation to this format, we have several uh, things which are related to the format. What are the things which are related to format? That is, uh, format consists of the different fields and the sections of the email. Uh, no? Format, no, no, no. which are the different fields and sections of the email. All these things are there. That is the date field, the from field, the to field, subject field, message box, and the situation, introduction, body of the email, conclusion, and complementary clause. So, all these things should be included. Okay. Very good. So now let us. So this is the question that you are likely to. This is the kind of question that you get. It is a, a five marks question. It's a five marks question. So it, if you are careful about all these four things. That is, which are the four things we have to be careful about? The format, the spelling, the punctuation, and language and grammar. You can easily uh, score the full marks. They do not reduce marks if you have written it without any errors. Errors in the full marks and get down the email writing. If you have written without any any kind of error, you will get full marks for this question. So I will suggest that every one of you uh, prepare well for this uh, this type of. Because emails are something which we uh, usually use in uh, uh, our communication every day. Especially nowadays, 
most of the communication happens through emails nobody writes letters these days letters are not usually written uh, these days we uh, mostly uh, write only emails so it is very important to learn how to communicate using emails then another major question that we have uh, is related to report writing which is also from the fourth semester so that is the last question in the question so you can see that how to write a report what is reporting reporting is nothing but uh, narration of what happened narration of what happened is called reporting so when you talk about something that happened it will be always in the past tense In, for the exam, what will be given is you will be given such a uh, box which contains various uh, activities, narration of various activities which happened at that particular time. And it will be written in the present tense format. We have to convert it into the past it as readable sentences. These are just pieces that we have in the box. We have to expand them into readable sentences in the text also we have such an exercise i think it is in page number 143 this is the format this is the manner in which we will get the question how do i report how do i make a report of this for example the first activity it's 9 a.m. attendance reporting meeting for the day. So when you write it as a paragraph, it is a five marks question. You have to write it as a paragraph. We have to write it in a readable format. So we can, uh, how do we begin a uh, report? You can either write dear sir or madam or you can just start like this. Here is my report for the day. You can begin. Here is my. Then I start with the first one that is at 9 a.m. What happened? I, I reported my attendance and held the, a meeting for the so we should use a proper connector also. So I say first at 9 a.m. I reported my attendance attendance at the office and conducted the meeting for the this is uh, the format in which we can write such uh, we can convert these uh, tables into paragraphs examples are given there in the text but uh, what we have to say is when you write we have to write as full sentences okay one the first thing that we have to take care of is we have to use full sentences then we have to use uh, past tense. We are talking about the past tense. Then we are writing a paragraph. So use connectors or linkers. They are also called the linkers. Okay. And then your paragraph of today. So if you can take care of all these things. That is, first, it should be, there should be full sentences. That is, then it should be written in the past tense and proper connectors and linkers should be used. So when I write the next one, that is, when I talk about the next one, how do I write that? I say, say after that, at 9.30 a.m., An evaluation of previous day
Now I can split it into two different sentences. So this uh, one entry. So all these are entries. It is like a diary entry. So what we are doing is we convert these entries into sentences and into readable paragraphs. So all these entries have to be changed into proper sentences, full sentences, and it should be made into readable paragraphs. So the at 9.30 a.m. after that, so I added a linker after that at 9.30 a.m. at my workstation, an evaluation of previous day was done. So that is the next step. So I converted this entry into a sentence. So conversion of entry into a sentence is the next step. And if it is a very long entry, I can split it into two different uh, sentences. So what I have done is I have taken this as one sentence and I will write this as another sentence. So how will I uh, write it as another sentence? I can add another linker called also. I can add also and then put a comma. So what will happen to the word completion? I will change that word. Completion should be changed into process. This is the process of completion. Pastance of completion. Everybody has gone. Very nice, Rishma. Just completed. So, I also painting tasks were completed. So, I write it as two different sentences. Okay. So, uh, it is one entry, but what I do is I split it and write it as two different sentences. Then it looks good. After TM at my workstation, an evaluation of previous day was done. Also, painting tasks were completed. So then uh, I have used the two different connectors now. After that, also and first. When I began, I said first, then I said after that, then I said also. Now I can use a different connector for the next one. What is the next one? Next one is 10 a.m. meeting with sales representatives. So I can use another connector. What connector can I use? I can use then. Okay, then comma. I had a meeting or I held a meeting. So these are just suggestions. You can use any any kind of a sentence provided it is in the past tense. The only uh, condition is that it has to be in the past tense. As long as it is in the past tense, you can use any kind of a structure. Any kind of a structure is permitted as long as the sentence that you are constructing is in the past tense. So I had a meeting or I held a meeting with the sales representatives of the company. So you have to complete it also. You can add some certain things like this. So how do I add? I had a meeting with the sales representatives of the company. How do I write it in then? I had a meeting with the sales representatives. This is also a five marks question. So we have to be uh, very careful about this, uh, all these things that is the usage of connector, usage of full sentences, okay, and usage of past tense. So just remember these three things. When you write a report, it should be written in full sentences, then it should be written in past tense, and the thing, proper connectors or linkers should be
Okay. The next entry is 11A. So every time I don't have to use the same connector, I can uh, I can change connector. I can use many different connectors. I can I can use connectors like further or uh, later. Then, etc. So further, calling up. How will I change it? Calling up. Calling up and collection. How will I change? Calling up will become on are you yes rang up is okay rang up no akam matam and you know other than the matam called up no akam okay thank you anjana for that rang up or called up okay so i after after that or further i called up clients or i rang up clients very good thank you shreesh anjana surya so i rang up clients and collection because Collection becomes collection and then collection of past tense and then collected. Very good. Collected. It becomes collected. So I can rewrite the sentence. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that responses. Further, I uh, called up our clients and collected orders from here. So there is a slight modification. If you look at this uh, sentence that I have written, there is it is slightly modified from the entry that is given in the question. So the en entry in the question is not, uh, it does not have all the words that I have used in this uh, sentence that I have written. It is slightly modified and written. So that kind of a modification can be done uh, and it is permitted and only then our sentence appears to be readable. It appears to be a readable paragraph. So further, I called up our clients and collected orders from them. Very good. Is it clear? Are you able to follow what I am saying? I am going to Is it okay? Okay or no? Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, if I'm not clear, please do tell me. Very good. Thank you for those responses. Okay, now it seems I have exhausted all the uh, collect connectors. Then you see the after that you see the uh, further you see the upper window. I'm not the museum, the connectors window museum. So then again, I can come back to then. I can use then uh, at 12 noon. Okay, 12 noon. We check keep on the noon. You can only 12 noon in our way at 12 noon. Uh, checking becomes checked. Okay, checking becomes checked. Follow up becomes. Uh, Followed up. Okay. These, these are the two verbs there. Verbs have to be changed into the past tense. So always remember that uh, these three things should be there. That is, past, uh, it should be it should be written as full sentences. It should be uh, written in the pa uh, past tense, and we should use connectors. So these are the three things which relate to report writing. Report writing in the two it has to be written in full sentences, it has to be written in the past tense, and it has to be proper connectors have to be used. What will be there in the question? Question will contain just entries. If you have a number of entry, entries are not diary like a entries in the time some that is just an entry. But we have to convert these entries into sentences. Entries are converted into what do we do with them? 
we convert them into sentences we change them into sentences entries ne nammal sentences aaki ee sentences ne connect cheyidu oru paragraph aaki maatuvana oru report la nammal cheyyanu so if you can do that it is very easy actually just need to find out the verbs change them into the past tense so let us look at that a particular sentence that is 12 noon do i do at 12 noon i so i use then at 12 noon i checked bank transactions and followed up overdue payment so now it is complete so what did i do i changed the checking into checked and follow up is changed into followed up i added an i i added then i added at time ganikan vendi at add cheyidu idakke additions aanu adile vannalla then add cheyidittunde at add cheyidittunde i has also been added but otherwise there is not much change in the entry except for the change in the tense there is not much change that we have done with the entry so the uh, so you can use imagination also after 12 o'clock there is a huge gap so you can uh, say the next connector can be a different connector it can be related to another activity after lunch because it is at 130 pm i can say after lunch preparing becomes very good that's all that's the only change that we have to do in baaki ella adey pole ezhudama the sentence le after that after lunch very good yes after lunch at uh, 1:30 pm thank you for those responses i i prepared i prepared the rest of it you can just copy from the uh, this this is the same illu vera nammal maatu onnu vettunnilla because there are no verbs in it i prepared order chart and inventory of ideas inventory means the uh, the number kanakedupana inventory so i prepared order order chart and inventory of items so that uh, has now been transformed that entry has now been transformed into a proper sentence the next one so i can use now another connector later 2 pm later at 2 pm i e filing becomes assistance e filing e filing in the past tense na filing is present continuous filing present continuous and past tense aakunna ingena change ing ing maatiya mathi ing maatiittu past aagan very nice filed aakana athre ullu so later i at uh, 2 pm yes i e filed the orders so uh, later at 2 pm i e filed the orders the next one so i will use another connector now further i have used it before but I, because we have a limited number of connectors for these things sequencing so we use the same connector again we use further here we may have to add uh, a connector 
uh, called was done. We have to add a connector called was done. Further, what was done? 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 At 3 p.m. what was done? It is highlighted there. Progress assessment. Very good. Progress assessment for the day was done. So you can just uh, add that and complete that sentence. How do you write it? Progress assessment for the day was done was done in the just uh, add that was done and then complete that sentence okay yes for the day was done progress assessment for the day was done so how do i write further uh, at 3 pm okay at 3 pm uh, progress assessment for the day was done by teleconference with sales representatives. Progress assessment for the day was done by a teleconference with sales representatives. Okay, then after that, okay, after that, I can use after that again. After that. Meetings are quality meeting with the production team. But we have to introduce a verb there. Meetings are we have to introduce a new verb there. The verb I would introduce a new verb. So we have to introduce a verb. Meet very good. Meetings are conducted or meetings are held. So after that. At 4 p.m., uh, a quality meeting uh, was conducted. I think we'll, we'll put in slash was held in the middle, was held with the production team. The production team. So uh, at, after that, at 4 p.m., a quality meeting was conducted with the production team. After that, at 4 p.m., a quality meeting was conducted with the production team or a quality meeting was held with the production team. So we don't change much. We just change the verbs. We introduce a connector and we write it as full sentences. That's all. These are the three changes that we do. We use uh, full sentences. We use proper uh, connectors and we use the past tense. And what is the connector that we can use with the last entry? Last entry on the connector you see number two number. Last entry you see number two connector on Very good. Finally, finally, or at last, or uh, in the end, uh, in the end. You can use in the end. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it is the end of the day of office in some of the problem, end of the day. So at the end of the day, or I think finally, another when you know, just use here, finally, uh, finally, at 5 p.m., okay, at 5 p.m., I, which is the verb that has to be changed there, update on our verb, so you have to change that. I update becomes very good. I updated. Okay. I updated work diary for the day before leaving office. I updated work diary for the day before leaving office. If you can make such modifications into these entries and change them into proper readable sentences and make, convert them into proper readable paragraphs, then our report writing becomes perfect. So is it clear? Is it okay?
okay so so that is it this is uh, so we discussed two, two two different topics today one is uh, email writing and the other is uh, report writing both are uh, questions which fetch five marks each so you get a total of 10 marks from the session itself this afternoon's one hour session you get 10 marks out of it so uh, if you can prepare very well for these two questions you easily get 10% uh, of the total marks so that is it we'll take up a different topic in the next class uh, thank you everybody for joining have a wonderful afternoon and goodbye thank you sir 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 thank you sir